All right, the highlights from Friday's GreatStockPicks.com live trading chat room session. Uh, DNDN, massive volume at the open. These are five-minute candles I'm showing you here. I went ahead and uh, called this over this green candle right here. That was my early idea. I said, this this breaks this five-minute candle's high. Could easily get through the high of the day and give a nice gain. Okay, So that was one of my first ideas of the day. We're talking 425 with a 417 stop. There's the trigger. Next thing you know, we're testing the high of the day and then right through it and then people start to pile and you can see the volume coming in here uh, you kind of get that collective group attitude hey DN DN's for real this time and look what happens all the way up through five bucks this thing went from 425 our call to 510 85 cents a share on a four dollar stock 20 percent move um, in about an hour there on uh, even less than an hour on DN DN um, that and uh, one other suggestion I'll show you later my two best ideas of the day um, I also mentioned raw stores ROST on the same kind of setup Raw store is pretty beaten up the day before, um, and so we had it on bounce watch, and it looked like this, and kind of like DND, and I said the first break of a previous five trigger might get you up and through the high of the day, and it did. So um, that would have been something like 57.31. It ends up getting almost to, uh, well, it ended up going up 50 cents from there. So that was a couple of early nice trade ideas. I also tried the same thing on OCZ, um, another stock that uh, severely beaten up, and then on Thursday, broke out of this base on volume so it, it lands on my watch list for a potential short squeeze right um, and I tried the same thing here and it had that same five minute candle stair step lower called this at 165 with a 160 stop looking for a high of day break um, I did sell some into that 170 break there and it just couldn't get going ended up with a flat on the rest um, but there was another one that kind of the same theory on that uh, DNDN DN and uh, ROST idea um, another idea I put forth today was CTB. Not today, I'm sorry, I'm making this video on Saturday, but uh, CTB looked like this. Uh, massive volume. Compare, uh, compare these volume stacks, right, with, with the previous few days. So this was um, great relative strength to the market. Look at the shape here, just really strong on an intraday basis. Uh, typed in the chat room that uh, CTB is getting near the 520. This is a great place for a strong stock to bounce. I didn't give a trigger and stop on that one. I'm not trying to uh, uh, fuzzy up the picture here, but I did alert the room, hey, this could be a good grab near the 520. Look what happens. Hits it, and it was off to the races. Um, and the 520 was around $22.20. Uh, within 15 minutes, it's at 23. ends up going to 24. Um, so a great, great uh, gain there for any of our members that took that. And I did see people celebrating CTB. So that was a nice one. Um, Smith and West, and I'm going to go into our SMS calls here as well. I put out two on uh, Friday. SWHC was one. The I, the entry ID, and this is a SMS, our texting service for people that signed up for that. I average one or two picks a day. I called Smith and Wesson SWHC at um, eight dollars and sixty three cents, probably right about there. And these are meant to be a little more relaxed, a little bit wider stop, traded smaller, and closed out before the close. So you get a text. Um, if you like it, you take the trade. Um, and anyway, this ended up making it be, being one of the strongest stocks out there after my call. Um, ended up going up through nine from 863. So I mean, decent percentage gain there on Smith and Wesson. Um, and I, really quick on the daily, I'll show you why I called it. You have to picture this was a solid red candle at the time I called it. Okay, you had the two red days. And then this one was also a solid red candle right here, okay? This is what it looked like when I called it, and I noticed it was hitting. I drew this trend line because you could kind of glance and see that it was probably near this trend line, and it was. Um, and so this one was pretty interesting to me for a turn right around 860, and 863 was the call. And look at the reversal there. Um, really proud of that one, and I got an email, someone thanking me, uh, one of the SMS members that uh, really nice trade on that one. Um, also had a chat room member their first day in our live trading chat room uh, we also announced the SMS calls to the chat room I say hey I'm sending out Smith and Wesson here at 863 and uh, the guy Craig I think his name was uh, first day in our chat room and he got 41 cents on an eight dollar stock only trade he took all day because uh, we recommend you paper trade but I guess he liked this one enough to take it um, anyway it was nice to see a first day member doing really well um, Smith and, Wesson. and then the other SMS call was USG. Now this is a uh, drywall company which should do really well. You can see it's had a he heck of a run with the uh, hurricane deal and then uh, gapped up and sold off all morning. 
I ended up calling USD at 2691. I don't know, somewhere around here for our um, uh, SMS members. And ended up going to, to 2730 something here. Um, and I had a nice little trade in that one as well. Uh, it ended up closing back uh, about a dime below where I called it. But uh, for those that took it at some point, um, had almost probably 40 cent gain on it at one point. Uh, so anyway. Um, I did have some, not to paint a perfect picture, I did have some, uh, a couple losses in CRUS, bottom feeding attempts, I had a couple flat trades, I, I called a bottom feeding attempt in CRUS somewhere right around here, um, and it only went up a dime from my call and rolled back over, so CRUS and closed at its lows of the day, this is uh, one nasty looking candle here, um, it will be on bounce watch on, uh, uh, for our chat room members on, on Monday, that's a pretty good sell off there. Um, note the uh, watch the 200 day and some price support here so this one is worth watching for a bounce um, on Monday and uh, looking over that's about it I also tried to bottom feed Expedia called Expedia right about here EXPE I think 59.52 with a 15 cent stop and ended up going up uh, a little bit maybe a dime or so and came back down and the market was just so weak I ended up taking a flat in that one I only gave these are supposed to give a V bottom when they work and it, it grinding sideways I got back out for a flat so there's another um, and you can see it rolled over the market super weak um, and that might have been it for the day overall a really nice day um, all things considered with a weak market and the SMS picks uh, continue to do really well too so I think I've uh, babbled enough DNDN DN, CTB a couple very nice ones um, yeah, I'm looking at my notes. That's it. So have a great uh, rest of your weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday.